Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about something surprising from AMD, the newly listed Radeon AI Pro R9700 graphics card. The price and the specs is way better than we expected. The first professional GPU in AMD's upcoming Radeon 9000 series is based on new RDNA 4 architecture, especially the Navi 48 GPU. If you've seen the RX 9070 XT, this card shared the same number of cores 4096 steam processor but double the memory if you are getting 32 gb of vram instead of 16 gb amd has not confirmed the exact launch date or pricing for r9700 what we do know is that it is scheduled to arrive this month this card is not directly successor of pro w7900 model it is less powerful has less memory and fewer cores instead the pro r9700 might be considered a successor of pro w7800 which is also came with the 32 gb of memory that model launched at 2499 dollars which was quite low for navi 32 based card at that time now according to the list from us based retail Taylor called Tech America, the new R9700 32GB is showing up at price between $1244 to $1267, which is nearly half of the launch price of W7800. That is a pretty aggressive price drop for brand new RDNA 4 workstation GPU. So why the price drop? One reason could be that AMD isn't producing those cards directly. Instead, board partners like Sapphire as Rock are handling production, offering blower style two slot cards similar to what we have seen in previous workstation design. That's probably helps to keep the cost down. Now, here's what things get a little bit confusing. Power Color recently showed off the box for this card, and that said, it will unleash the gaming power. Well, even though it's meant for professional use, it technically has gaming level specs. Still, it is not designed for gamers, and as long as manufacturers stick with the blower style, cooler and pro drivers it probably won't be adopted by gamers in large numbers and let's not forget gamers are still struggling to find rx 9070 cars at msrp this is happening more often those days personally i think it is smarter move by amd by lowering their price letting both partners do their things they are making pro gpus more accessible especially for creators developer ai professional do not need top tier specs like w7900 but that power color level kind of misleading i don't think most gamer would benefit from from buying this unless they need it for work and casual gaming let me know what do you think would you buy a pro card like this for gaming or hybrid workloads that's it for today if you like the video make sure to subscribe the channel for more video like this i'll see you in the next one thank you